Picking up right where we left off our hardcore group Iron Man series, if you did miss the first episode, there's a link to the playlist in the description, so go check that out first if you'd like. We managed to rush Winter Todd and 80 fire making and get the magic logs that we needed for DT. It's now time to turn our focus on speeding through the game as quickly as possible in order to unlock Barrow's Gloves and everything that comes with those 175 quest points. Also, if you are watching this video within the first couple of hours it's been up, I'm live on Twitch right now, so follow the link in the description to come follow my progress. Let's get started. But before we continue, I'm very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Ridge. The Ridge wallet is a fancy securely designed wallet that is made with RFID blocking technology. There's over 30 colors and styles including this 18 karat gold one that I got. I actually like it because despite it being so compact, it can actually fit up to 12 cards as well as your cash. So have a little faith in the Ridge wallet because after you get yours, you can test drive it for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you're not totally in love with it. So go to the link in the description and use the code DITABITTER for 10% off. Alright, it's time to get a lot of progress done which means completing a lot of quests and getting started on the combat training. Alright, being efficient with the quests and such, shout out Ozarus Guide V4, uh, we just got the notes that we need for Dwarf Cannon. We're not going to go complete it though, we're going to go start uh, Gucci's Cat right now. Here I am starting Gucci's Cat, not going to finish this right away either, but it's good to start it right now. Alright, we're going to start Demon Slayer as well and collect the first two keys, not going to finish that either just yet. Alright, these are two out of the three keys. I'm not going to go get the third key right now because, you know, it's all in the name of efficiency. Going to buy a fire staff real quick, only 1.5k. Going to buy a newspaper too real quick for 50 GP. Real break in the bank, but hey, has to be done for the easy task in the Varric area. A little bit of fashion, let's get gloves and a pink skirt. Buy a rotten tomato real quick. Let's get drunk real quick for the bar crawl, let's see what happens to us. Your insides feel terrible. Alright, and that has hooked me up with 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter. Thank you, the bro Orlando, for hooking it up. Let's carry on. Stole a cup of tea for another task. Doing this part of Rune Mysteries real quick, and then I'm going to buy some runes as well real quick. Went on a bit of a shopping spree. Only have 111k left. Bought, what, 8k air runes, 4k mine runes, and a bunch of air, earth, and fire as well. Just going to be for our questing and our training, our mage up and combat level up for the start of it. Anyway, let's continue on with Gertrude's Cat real quick. Another drink for the bar crawl. Thanks very much. All right, I had to cut a dying tree and make a plank real quick for some more Varric easy achievements. Don't mind me, just filling up a full inventory of buckets of water. I collected 60 red berries and one cadaver berry real quick. I also decided to pick up four copper ore and one iron ore, and now we're gonna go on our way back to finish Gertrude's cat. Hopefully we don't get one hit by these uh, dark wizards. So did I get one hit by the dark wizards? No, I did not. But as you may have already gathered from the title, this four man group is already on three lives. Now who was the culprit? It was 9-2. Now 9-2 is a madman. While me, Maz, and Miko were rushing Winter Todd, he was rushing Agility Pyramid to get starter cash so that he could go to Revs to farm our early group GP. Yes, he was going to Revs on a low-level hardcore Iron Man. Madman. But before he could even get there, while he was watching Maz's screen share and helping him, he fell on the Agility Pyramid and took Desert Heat at the same time, and he ended up spawning in Lumbridge, losing one of our lives. Thanks, Maz. Unfortunately, there was no recording of the death as 9-2 wasn't recording, but yeah. Maz and him feel pretty guilty about losing a death this early and even wanted to restart, but we think it's all good. If anything, it makes our series that much more riskier and that much more fun to watch, so we will persevere through. But my Twitch chat was recommending that I make them do some kind of forfeit or challenge for losing the first live. What do you guys think we should make them do? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, 9-2 the type of guy to die at the agility pyramid, but then go to revs with 22 HP and get an emblem worth 500k. So all in all, I'll say it was worth it. As Gertrude's cat completed, which means we get ourselves a little kitten, which I'm going to have to raise all by my lonesome. Luckily, we bought some sardines earlier, which we'll be able to use. Hello, little guy. That gives us 1.5k cooking XP as well, getting us to 12 cooking. Also talking to Juliet for Romeo and Juliet real quick. All right, I think these skeletons max a three, so... Hopefully they don't kill me because I need to start the Abyss mini quest. And I don't want to die, you know what I mean? Alright, nice. Cop to Bronze Med Helm real quick. Alright, we just burnt some meat real quick and now I'm going to start attacking things. I am 10 HP, so hopefully this ends well. I'm going to safe spot these barbarians for a couple mage levels. There's 13 magic, we can get out of here. Uh, we can now use Fire Strike, which is very, very nice. Safe spotted a black bear real quick for its meat. Powder part of the bar crawl. She's giggling at me, and we drunk drunk. Anyway, let's buy five wizard mind bombs as well. My boy Wyson, the guy I'm usually talking to for mole-related activities, but this time, I'm buying some woad leaves. Do I know what woad leaves are? No, but I've just bought eight of them. Gilinor Games viewers, look away. It is time to start the witch's house, and hopefully, not die. Alright, let's try this thing. 11 HP, witch's house. There we go, should have it done. Let's go! I have redeemed myself from Gilinor Games. It's a little bit late, 
but uh, I think our hardcore will stay alive now. All right, now I run all the way down here. And please have it in a safe spot. Let's go! That's 16 magic and the little witch thingy done. Let's pick up our ball and get out of here. Okay, and that is Witch's House completed. 6.3k HP XP, 25 HP now. No more getting one hit or walking around Gilinor. Hopefully. God, it's good. I'm not 10 HP right now. Fucking hell, how do I even open this thing, man? Alright, anyway, let's decant some meat or whatever we're doing. Alright, and that is Druidic Ritual completed. Should give us a little bit of Herblore XP or whatever it does. To like, what, three? There we go. Very, very nice. Four quest points as well. Alright, I got two iron bars for the group storage. Gonna go complete Witch's Potion now. A maze? Say less. 68%? I'm not the best to ever do it, but I might be up there, you know what I mean? What do we get? 85 Chaos Runes, nice. And Mithril War and some coal. Alright, that was Witch's Potion completed. 325 Mage XP and a quest point. Got the red berries and a pastry dough from here in Port Sarum. And here's our red berry pie for night. Oh, never mind, I burnt it. That's real awkward. Alright, let's run this one back. Surely, second time's a charm. I beg. There we go, red berry pie done. Alright, easy task done, just had to collect a security book. Alright, pretty much everything in this dungeon can terrorize me, but I need to get two blue right ore real quick, so... Hopefully we don't get terrorized too much. This thing is hitting me hard. Not a fan. Oh my god, I might actually die. Um... I'm getting tormented by an ice warrior, boys. Oh no, there's more of them. Um, um, I'm hopping worlds. Oh wait, no, this is this is free for us. We're gonna get this and get the fuck out of here. Alright, second blue red ore achieved. No death. Let's carry on. Night Sword completed. A very good quest to get out of the way. 12k Smithin XP, getting me up to 29 Smithin. Very, very nice. We've ventured into the desert. Gonna get three needles, 50 thread, and pretty much every mold that there is here, to be honest. Um, do I have space for the one? Luckily, I have space for the one. Nice. Alright, just started Prince Ali's rescue as well. It took a while, but we finally got an anchovy for uh, the diary. I guess I'll just feed this to my kitten, yeah? Yo! Carry on with the questing. I'm gonna move on to Taurus Trap, but real quick before I actually start it, I'm just gonna go buy a full inventory of bronze bars real quick. Still got 110k cash, which is pretty nice. Oh god, we're probably gonna have issues hopping around for these bars, huh? Hopped a couple worlds, got a couple bronze bars. Let's move on to Taurus Trap. Alright, did that work? Bro, what is even happening? This quest hates me or what? Fucking hell, let's go get some more cakes. I don't want to die doing this. Is this gonna work? I really hope it does. Damn, we just got 18 magic and we're about to finish this up. Second time's a charm. We were absolutely getting destroyed the first time, but hey, we got it. Awesome, now I'm dying to a fucking Yugthanki, whatever the hell that is. Isn't it just called a camel? Anyway, uh, Taurus Trap completed. Gonna use both the XP rewards on agility. Agility, 20 agility, second skill, agility. Uh, 26 agility. Let's go. I can now use the Falador agility shortcut. That's hype as hell. Alright, we used some of the raw food that we got from the Winter Todd crates earlier just to get ourselves to 15 cooking. Alright, it's time to go shopping again. We're gonna get 10 buckets of slime, 10 pots of flour. We'll get 5 from here and 5 from a different world. And then we're just gonna start buying a bunch of buckets of sand and soda ash. Alright, got that. It's buckets of sand and soda ash time. Alright, I'm gonna buy the rest of this soda ash and buckets of sand later because the worlds are just too contested. And I'm only getting a couple per world. So we're just gonna carry on with the progress for now. Alright, just mine 15 clay real quick while we're here at Port Kazard. It's actually efficient for me to go kill the imps to get all the beads for imp catcher or whatever, but I want to get my combats up so that I can start AFK and editing the videos. So I'm going to go start Fight Arena right now. Alright, that's the ogre down and we're down to 19 magic too. Scorpion down. Fight Arena done, giving us 12k attack XP, putting us up to 29 attack and 27 thieving. Okay, I'm about to start Tree Gnome Village, but as you know, we're on that efficiency thing, so I'm gonna go get the Glarial's Pebble for a waterfall quest right now, too. The Pebble, let's go start Tree Gnome Village now. Oh, I got a genie. Let's go. Assumption is that I use every genie on Herblore. So that is 30 Herblore XP. <laughs> Four Herblore, let's go. Alright, that's a Khazard Warlord done. Only got chanced by it like a couple times, you know. It is what it is. Let's pick up the orbs and get out of here. Alright, and that is Tree Gnome Village completed, giving us access to the Spirit Trees as well and giving us some more combat XP. We're now at 35 uh, attack. Still one strength, but that will change in time. Another drink for the bar crawl. Alright, please don't kill me, Moss Giant. I beg. Alright. So far so- oh, what, there's another one? Jesus Christ. I do not know all this. Alright, tank this, tank this, run. Maybe I did know this, actually. Maybe I'm trolling. What's its max hit, I wonder? Actually, I don't want to find out, do I? Oh, fuck me, dude. These guardians are fucked up, bro. Alright, allow it, fire giants. I actually don't think they can one-hit me. I hope. Eat food. We're chillin'. 
All right, this should be waterfall quest done, giving me some more statistics. 40 attack, 30 strength now, two diamonds, two gold bars. We absolutely take those. We're at 29 combat now. All right, luckily we have a rune skim in the group storage, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's steal that real quick. Let's start priest and para real quick. Your kitten has grown into a healthy cat that can hunt for itself. Let's go. Damn, we got 11 prayer from priest and para. I didn't even realize that. All right, that is 200 laps at the Canopus rooftop done. We will be back here. We need to get 50 agility. We're at 48 for now, but 200 seems like a good number to stop at. I'm going to go back to the buckets of sand and see if I can finish that off for now. All right, finally got 600 buckets of sand and 600 soda ash. The rest of our crafting XP will come elsewhere, so we'll make that into molten class eventually. But for now, we're just going to carry on with the progress. We're going to buy some compost packs from this little guy. We'll get four of them. All right, let's get started on a hazel cult. Damn, and that's Hazel's Cult completed. Let's go. Uh, 1.5k thieving XP, 2k cash out of that. 28 thieving now. All right, we're going to start Tribal Totem now. I don't even know what that is, but hey, we do what we're told. Also, this food shop is pretty OP. I'm going to get myself some Karam ones, some swordfish, and some lobsters. Just because I can. Bro, what just happened? I'm doing this quest. I'm in the sewers? Damn. All right. All right, that is Tribal Totem completed. Oh, we got some swordfish. All right, peace out, kicks. 29 thieving too. Damn, we just got two crafting. Grats me. I got five flavor already, and I'm still pushing this plow. Jesus, I'm an idiot. Let's move on to the saltpeter thing. I just collected a bunch of saltpeter, and I'm going to be making this into fertilizer with the compost to finish up 20% Hasidious favor. I need 15% to do the fruit stalls, and I need 20% to do a quest later. All right, let's see what our favor jumps up to here. Uh, to donate your fertilizers, 20.4%. Very, very nice. Hopefully no guard dog attacks me here, because that would not be fun. All right, that's 42 thieving. I can leave these fruit stalls now. Time to go start, like, Cook's Assistant and shit like that. That took us a while to figure out, but we've just created a fruit blast. Wait, no. Pour. Yo! All right, that's nice. All right, talk to Cook. All right, that's Cook's Assistant done. 16 cooking. Do you have any other quests for me? All right, and that is another Cook's Quest done, I think? Oh, I have to go see the feast to start Recipe for Disaster. Two days worth of progress so far, and we are speeding towards that Barrow's Gloves goal. We set ourselves up nicely today to do some insane progress in terms of questing and leveling in the next video, so make sure you check down below that you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you then.